In our day-to-day -day life, location is a good indicator of security. For example, we happily leave our money at a banking center, but we wouldn't leave it on a street corner. Unfortunately, extending this principle to our digital life is not that simple. So how could we verify the position of our communication partners and why does this verification process have to be quantum? Say you get a phone call, allegedly from your bank, but you suspect it came from the Nigerian palace. What can you do? Well, the first thing you can do is ask some questions and measure the response time. This only gives an upper limit on how far they can be from you, but unless they can break the laws of physics, they must be inside a sphere whose radius is determined by the speed of light. It would be natural to ask your friends around the globe to play the same game and find the position of your communication partner as the point where these spheres intersect, but be careful. You have to make sure that you and your friends talk to the same person, and as it turns out, that is the hard part. To see how that would work, first let's recap in one dimension. We have two verifiers and between them there is a prover who wants to prove that they are where they say they are. The question shares the verifiers ask take the form of some random data A and B, and the answer shares are based on some function f that can only be calculated if the prover knows both A and B. At least this was the original idea. Unfortunately, if there are multiple attackers working together, they can spoof the answer. All they have to do is intercept the question shares, keep a copy for themselves, and transmit a copy to their co-conspirators. After that, they can calculate the response independently and time their answers to create the illusion that it came from a position they cannot access. However, this attack hinges on the attackers being able to copy the question shares. And as you may know, copying an unknown quantum bit is a non-unitary operation, therefore it is not possible in quantum mechanics. If you are not familiar with this principle, just think of a particle that has some x position along the x-axis and some vx speed. You can illustrate that the no-cloning theorem must exist through Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. If you could copy this particle, there would be nothing stopping you from measuring the position of the original and the speed of the copy with arbitrary precision. Obviously, this is not possible, so we must conclude that there cannot be an operation that copies the state of a particle. So let's just use quantum communication to verify the position. Now, the question shares consists of some alpha and beta quantum bit strings, and the answer is calculated by some u unitary operation. And with that, the problem seems to be solved. But is this secure? As of 2021, the answer is that against classical attacks, quantum position verification is believed to be secure. Quantum attacks, however, are a different matter. There is no unconditional security against them, and the current situation is very much like the security of RSA encryption. We know that with enough resources it can be attacked, but the best known attack that works every time is exponentially inefficient. Could there be a more efficient attack? Maybe, but right now nobody knows what that would be like. So this is where things stand right now. Classically, there is no way to securely verify someone's position, but quantum mechanically there might be. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.